After weeks of teetering on the edge, San Diego is officially in that dreaded purple tier. Today is the first day that businesses had to readjust to the new, more restrictive guidelines. All this as we once again break our daily case record here in San Diego County. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefty. We will get to that record soon, but first, ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pizzetti was in Escondido, where businesses are trying something new to stay afloat. It's hard. San Diego County has moved backwards again. None of us are at 100%. I mean, most of the most of the uh, business owners that I talk to, if we're at 50% of where we were before, that's good. We're doing good. In Escondido, Carol Rogers is involved with the Downtown Business Association, the Chamber of Commerce, and she owns a glass business that has had to find a boost elsewhere with dwindling in-person shopping. Our online sales are they are phenomenal. Uh, it's what's kept us in business. It is the only thing that's kept us in business. And while the newest rollback will make it more challenging, they're adapting. Escondido shops have expanded into the streets to make room for outdoor business. And what we found is the restaurants did it. It works for the restaurants, but for the most part, Retail is not using the space. So in unused sidewalk space in front of retail stores, Carol organized an art walk, inviting artists to set up pop-up shops outside Saturday. If, if small business owners are anything, they're resilient and they're creative. This helps support artists who lost business since second Saturday stopped in March. It brings pe gives people a reason to come out and be outdoors. Even the cement barriers that mark the expansion have become a canvas. Like there's been professional artists, there's been people who just want to paint, there's children uh, doing all of these. Hoping that with the art, the pop-up walk, and the teamwork, they'll make it through another round of rollbacks. It's bringing us together as a community to help, to, you know, to keep us all in business and to help our downtown. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. And today was the first time Escondido hosted their Art Walk event. They say they hope to make this a monthly occurrence to continue to bring people outside and support local businesses as well.